Alrighty, how to do Google Business Profile NARC SEO. So that's going to be the topic of today. How to do Google Business Profile Reverse SEO is really what we're doing here. So in any case, we're going to go ahead and kick this off for today. Hey there, I am Chris Palmer and in today's how to do Google Business Profile NARC SEO video, what I'd like to go ahead and share with you is really the reverse of SEO. So how I want to go ahead and frame this is, you know, I have quite a few clients where we were going out and creating Google business profiles by utilizing a particular form of virtual office in order to get verified listings. So with that being said, you know, we're moving into new places and it's been popping up and cropping up quite consistently that we're getting our accounts shut down, right? Now on the reverse, depending on who you are, I want this to be for both types of person. So say you're trying to get addresses, they keep coming, you know, you keep getting your addresses taken down. I want to share with you how maybe you could help do the same for your competition, but also too, maybe for the other person, you know, you're an actual business owner, a real business owner, right? You've been in business 10 years and all of a sudden over the past couple months or maybe last week, or maybe today, you're going into your Google business profile to check out your ranking, see how you're doing. You're not getting as many calls as usual. And all of a sudden there's two or three or four or five or 10 new businesses in your Google map pack. And you can plainly tell there's zero reviews. They're the same business name. They're taking up your spot, taking your phone calls. So what I want to share with you today is how you can literally take down these profiles and help your business out. Or if you're on the other side, maybe somebody's doing it to you, how you can help them back. I want to walk you through how you can perform or how you can utilize the redressal form, how you can find these businesses, how you can get the proof that you'll need to take down these businesses. And that is what I'm going to share with you today. So without any further ado, that's the topic for today. Uh, and here's what's going on. So say you're going out uh, into the map pack. Maybe you're just joining me. If you're unsure of what the map pack is, I don't know how you wouldn't know what this is, but let's say for instance that you're going out and you want to do computer repair right in i don't know p-h-o-e-n phoenix az I, I have no idea if this is a problem out here it doesn't look like it these look pretty reputable 405 46 171 but all of a sudden maybe it was flooded i'm just saying for instance maybe it was flooded with these types of listings here see how this has no reviews there's no directions they're not showing their address but a lot of times these will fill up the area that your business used to be in. So what you would do is if they are showing an address, okay, what you're going to do is something like this. So let me just share this with you. If you go to a profile, all right, and you can clear as day see that it's not a legitimate business, they're taking your phone calls or maybe, Hey, you had a competitor. You guys are both doing the same thing, but they're playing dirty and they're taking down your profile. I want to share with you how you can go ahead and gather up the proof and submit it to Google. All right. So what you'll then do is you'll come in, you'll see the business, and then you can see here that it's going to give the address. Correct. Now let's say for instance, this, this business was using one of these addresses. Okay. Let's say that this particular business was at the Gallerina, Gallerina at PNC Plaza, 20 South third street, suite 210 in Columbus, Ohio. What you would do is if you have a competitor giving you an issue, you head on out here to Google. All right. And what you're going to do is you're going to put that address in quotes like this, and then you're going to run a search. And what you will come to find is that a magnitude of businesses might show up more notably businesses like Regis. Okay. Maybe Crexy. Okay. Um, or maybe even for instance, even if you took away this, if you just put in the address Galleria 23rd, take this out, just the address like this, maybe per, for instance, again, it's, it's the same type of addresses, right? Regis. If you come inside of Regis, I'll share with you what, what I'm getting at here. If you come in here to Regis, what you can find, we can allow all of these ways to work. As you can see here, there's something called virtual offices. 
All right. Now, another one here, I'll go ahead and share this with you. If you come inside of here, let's say maybe you were, you found a competitor that was utilizing an address like this. All right. You'll come over here to Google. What you'll do is you'll type it into Google and what you're looking for is the proof in order to initiate the takedown. Okay, so what we can see here is 80 Broad Street, 5th floor, New York City. When you come in here again, you'll see this again. Regis, all right, look at this. Flex Office, and then here's another one here, Da Vinci. Uh, these are what is called virtual offices. So by simply searching for the address of the businesses that are out competing you, they're taking your position, they're taking your phone calls, or maybe you had a business utilizing this strategy, and all of a sudden, like there's new guys in there doing the same exact thing, but they keep kicking yours out. That's because they're playing dirty and you're not. So I want to, I want to give you the ammo that you need. And, and here's what's done next. So once you can come to the realization that, Hey, the addresses that are being utilized are virtual offices or flex offices or whatever you want to call them, right? Once you have this proof, you're going to utilize, and if you check the description below, I put something that is called the redressal form. So the business redressal complete form, and what this form is utilized for is NARC SEO. Uh, uh, and, and again, I, I don't necessarily, I'm not saying that this is the best thing to do, but again, if you're a real business and you can tell that the players are coming in, they're taking your phone calls and you've tried everything. They're just, they're just beating you. This is a way to regain that position back. Or perhaps you're utilizing the same strategy or the same tactic, but you're not going in there and filling out these forms. You're not going in there to take down people's addresses. And there's somebody that is doing that to you. I want to aim you. I want to, I want to arm you with the same tactics. All right. So this is called the business redressal form, as you can see again in the description below and inside of here, you could put your name, the address, the name of the entity or organization that's being impacted. So yours. Okay. Here's the public URL of the location, and then you can give the proof files. Okay. And then you can also give a detailed description of what is happening to you and your business. Most notably, if you're a legitimate business and this is happening, Fill out exactly what the issue is. Showcase that, and the reason why I want to share this with you is once you find that it's a virtual office and you can, you know, you have a business that has 57 reviews that's been there for four years, this particular business comes on, over-optimizes you, slides in there because it's a new listing, knocks you out of the pack, your phone stops ringing, this guy's getting your phone calls and he's got three listings taking up the whole pack. What else are you to do? the redressal form, go get the proof as far as the virtual office, literally within three weeks, they're out of there. All right. So this is what I want to share with you. Um, again, this could help both sides of the spectrum. If you're playing the SEO game and they're out playing you and they're doing this tactic to you, this is how it's done. You find the virtual office, you submit it, and this is the form that you utilize. If you're a real business and there's people getting in there utilizing virtual offices and taking up the whole SERP, taking your phone calls, again, this can certainly help you out. I call this NARC SEO. This is actually spam fighting. If, As far as the white hat crowd is concerned, this is completely, <laughs> you know, within the realm of doing things. But I wanted to share this with you. I've had numerous business owners come to me, real businesses. They want an option. They want to know what to do. This is how it's done. You find the office, you get the proof, you find the office, you get the proof, you share this, you point it out, redressal form, description below. My name's Chris Palmer. If you have any questions related to Google business profiles, Google my business, local SEO, the redressal form, pretty much anything anything at all, feel free, go ahead and ask in the section below. And of course, I always look forward to seeing you in the next how to do Google business profile SEO video. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.